Oh, five years, three billion dollars later, a new drug manufacturing plant is about to open in North Carolina, and it may have come at uh, a most opportune time. Is that this year's best state to do business? Was it? Was it North Carolina? I, I, I wasn't here. You know, that was a I week was, ago. I wasn't here the week <laughs> Angelica, it was I think it was. <laughs> Angelica People, Peebles joins us now uh, with more. Good, good morning. It was the week of July 8th. It was. Hey, Joe, well, the, it is North Carolina. That was our top state. And this has been a big boom for U.S. manufacturing. So these tanks are ready for the fall opening of Fujifilm Biotechnologies' this new factory. And it will be one of the largest bio, biologics manufacturing facilities in the U.S. So you're looking at what's called a bioreactor. Each one of these spans three floors, and it can hold 20,000 liters. They're used to grow the cells that will produce monoclonal antibodies. And as you can probably tell, precision here is extremely important. So opening one valve at the wrong time and letting in just one molecule can cost you the entire batch. And historically, the U.S. hasn't been a large producer of biologics. Almost half of branded injectable drugs originate in Europe versus just 17 percent in the U.S. And that's why it's today's announcement that pharmaceuticals from the EU will only face a 15 percent tariff, not those higher rates that President Trump has floated, is important for the industry. But things are starting to change, especially in places here like North Carolina. So Johnson & Johnson is one of the first companies that will use this space and one of the many announcing new investments across the country. J&J CFO Joe Wolf credits a lower corporate tax rate for encouraging more U.S. manufacturing. If you think about the tax policy that's now in place in the United States at a 21 percent tax rate, that puts us right in the middle of the pack. So we can tap into not only the um, infrastructure that exists in the U.S., one that's quite frankly emerged since the 2017 uh, tax act passage, where we used to have about 1,100 facilities uh, uh, for the, the manufactured biopharmaceuticals. Today, we've got 1,600. But, Joe, it's going to take time to see the results of those investments. It's taken five years to take this site from an idea to reality and getting it ready to start actually making medicines. And that's pretty fast. So much more to come in this space, guys.